Hey everyone, we're going to show you how to create bubble prints today. And these are wonderful backgrounds for drawing or doing any kind of printmaking on. So this is an example made by my six-year-old daughter and myself, and we're gonna show you how we did this. Now first, you're going to need some basic materials. You're going to need at least one, but two could be nice also, little cups that you can place some water in. Now you can see I have just about maybe a quarter cup or less of water in this small cup. You're also going to need dish soap. Any kind should work. We're going to put about an equal part of dish soap into the water. So equal, equal parts of water and dish soap is best. Then we are going to need some food coloring. And we're going to use two different colors to start with, a different color in each of the cups. And then we can even mix in another color later into them so that we could create really multiple different colors. So we'll get that in in just a moment. Before we do that though, you will need paper. Now the kind of paper you use really is important because you'll get a better print from a better quality of paper. This paper that we used here was 140 pound watercolor paper. This paper here we used at the same time. This was some basic drawing paper and computer paper. So you can see side by side, these do look a little bit different than this one on the watercolor paper. The watercolor paper picked up the color much better. Lastly, you're going to need a straw. And if you're doing this with a friend or just anybody else, you'll probably want to have a different kind of straw because you're going to be actually blowing out air through the straw so that you create bubbles. All right, so let's get started with our colors now. So pick two colors. Okay, blue. Great, okay. Now, you're gonna wanna make sure you put plenty of food coloring into your cup. You can always add more though. So you can start with just about maybe four or five drops. Two, three, four, five. Good. Five. Okay, and then we can always add more later. Now food coloring stains, clothing, and fingers, so keep that in mind and make sure you do work carefully. Okay, so we're starting with five drops of each and we can add more if we need to. Now keep in mind, the more water you have in your cup, the more soap and food coloring you'll need in your cup. So. That's why I did not put that much water in my cup and I'm using a small cup for this because that means I can use less of all materials. All right, now for the fun part, you're gonna blow out through the straw and you're gonna create bubbles. It's going to overflow your cup a little bit and that's why you wanna work on some kind of surface that has like an edge to it. So this is a cake pan, any kind of baking sheet with, a, with like a lip around the edge would work. All right, so we've got our paper ready. We are each using a piece of watercolor paper again. And let's go. <gasps> so fun. Okay, now we can take our paper and you can put it over both together or you could just do one color at a time. Let's check it out and see how it worked. Okay, so we do need some can't more really color. See it. Yeah, you can't really see it enough yet. So I'll do blue. The yellow you can you do see. yellow. So I think we need to double the yellow. Yeah. Okay. So five five more drops of yellow. One, Let's do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did three more blue. I did Always put your mouth on the same one end so that you're not getting soap in your mouth. Yeah, because 
I did that the sure. last time we did it and it tastes disgusting. Yeah, we don't want to drink soap. Okay, I'm going to try okay. just doing a little bit on this one side here. Let's try a little bit more. And you'll want to just keep layering this over and over too. See some of that here in the first. Oh, Ooh. and look. There's some green in the middle. That's right. This is a great way to review color mixing and to see how colors blend together. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up now and just let you watch all the amazing colors we get and all the different sizes of circles we can create using this method. Oh. All right, so this is what we have so far. These look amazing and we could leave it like this if we wanted to, but since we already have all this great bubble solutions mix. We're gonna add some more colors to it. And I'm gonna make orange in this one. One, two, three. So we can just start with that. Mix in it. Sometimes it's fun to go in from the side. Wow, look at that. Put a little bit more here. Three more drops. One, two, three. I'm really liking this color combination. I'm gonna add a little more now to this side with that new color. You want to use use this on yours? Ooh. Wow. Sandman orange. Go ahead, let's add some red and make some purple. We hope you've enjoyed watching us make bubble prints and are ready to go create some yourself. Have fun!